Hello, my name is Naveen Kamal Ravindran. I'm an application engineer here at Vestron Corporation. Today I'm here to talk about uh, surface finishes and the compatibility of surface finishes with cleaning agent and uh, cleaning processes. Printed circuit boards require some form of surface finish to protect the copper traces. Surface finishes prevent oxidation of the copper and they guarantee a solderable surface. The most common surface finish that has been used in the industry is hot air solder leveling or hassle process, both leaded and lead free. However, due to the limitations of these hassle surface finishes in recent uh, days or recent years, a lot of other surface finishes have come to the fore, the most common among them being OSP and ENIG. However, with these new surface finishes, the compatibility uh, with cleaning agents and cleaning, cleaning processes have been questioned and two studies were conducted in order to establish the com compatibility of the surface finishes with cleaning agent processes. The first study was conducted on OSP uh, coating or OSP surface finishes. OSP is an organic coating that is applied on the copper traces to protect the copper. Uh, the compatibility of the OSP layer in a cleaning process becomes important and uh, the study was conducted using different cleaning agents to establish this. Two different cleaning agents were chosen. One was an un uh, uninhibited alkaline product and another one was an alkaline product with copper corrosion inhibitors. Both the cleaning agents were uh, used in an inline cleaner, uh, run at different process settings. Concentration of the cleaning agent, the temperature of the cleaning agent, as well as the exposure time were varied. It was found during the study that the OSP layer was removed more at the higher process settings, higher concentration, higher temperature, and larger exposure time. However, when we compare two chemistries, it was found that with the uninhibited alkaline chemistry, the OSP layer was removed a lot more, up to 50%, whereas with the inhibited alkaline chemistry, it was removed only up to 5%. Therefore, for the OSP compatibility, using the right cleaning agent becomes very important. In the second study, three other surface finishes were studied, Immersion Silver, Enig, as well as Immersion 10. Four different cleaning agents were used in the study. One was an alkaline uninhibited surfactant-based product, an alkaline inhibited surfactant-based product, an alkaline microphase product, as well as a pH neutral microphase product. Different conditions were also tested, such as uh, a reflow condition, as well as a no reflow condition, as well as multiple passes, three passes versus six passes were also tested to determine a uh, worst case scenario. After cleaning all the surface finishes with the various chemistries, various uh, analytical tests were also conducted. The first test conducted was visual inspection. And during visual inspection under a microscope, it was found that uh, all the cleaning agents were fully compatible with both the ENIG as well as the immersion tin uh, platings. With the immersion silver, it was found that three of the chemistries were fully compatible, whereas the alkaline uninhibited surfactant-based chemistry started to remove some of the plating, especially after the six passes through the cleaning process. The next analytical test that was conducted was the addition test. This test made use of a 3M600 tape that was applied on various areas of the board and it was forcibly removed and the tape was then inspected under a microscope to check for any particles of the plating that got removed during uh, the removal process. It was uh, found that all the cleaning agents and all the surface platings were completely fine and there was no uh, plating removal uh, upon uh, the application of this addition test. The next analytical test conducted was surface analysis test using a copper test and a nickel test. For immersion tin and immersion silver, a copper test was conducted on the plating which uh, would detect any exposed copper uh, after the cleaning process. It was found that for immersion tin, there was no exposed copper detected, which means that the cleaning process was fully compatible with the immersion tin plating. This was true for all four chemistries tested. In the case of immersion silver, three of the chemistries were fine with no higher levels of exposed copper detected, whereas the one chemistry which showed deterioration in the visual inspection also showed up as uh, higher amounts of exposed copper, and that proved uh, that the plating is getting affected by the cleaning process. In the case of ENIG, uh, a nickel test was conducted and that detected the presence of any exposed nickel. In the case of all four cleaning agents, it was found that no exposed nickel was found, which uh, proved that all the four cleaning processes are fully compatible with the ENIG plating. The last analytical test that was conducted was X-ray fluorescence or XRF tests. This test measures the thickness of different plating materials. For immersion silver, it measures the thickness of the silver plating. For immersion tin, it measures the thickness of the, of the tin plating. And for the ENIG plating, it measures the thickness of gold as well as, well as the thickness of the nickel plating. It was found that for both immersion tin and ENIG, 
No significant changes in the thickness of the platings was noticed before and after cleaning, even after six cleaning passes. So this further proved that the plating materials were fully compatible with all four cleaning agents. In the case of Immersion Silver, however, uh, three cleaning agents were found to be fully compatible with no significant changes in the thickness, whereas one cleaning agent, the alkaline uninhibited surfactant-based product, showed more than a 5% reduction in the thickness of the plating. This showed that plating is getting removed, and it further corroborated the results we got using visual inspection as well as the surface analysis tests. So from all these tests, it is uh, proven that NIG platings are pretty robust and the cleaning process is uh, very much compatible no matter what cleaning agent is used. Whereas for immersion silver, the use of right cleaning agent is necessary. Some cleaning agents can result in the deterioration of the immersion silver and therefore proper knowledge about the cleaning agent is necessary to make sure the cleaning process is fully compatible. For more on any of these two studies, please contact Zestron's Application Technology Department or any of the Engineering Department. <laughs>